Hi, I'm Dr. Divya Srinivasa. I'm a double board certified plastic surgeon, and I'm also the chief surgeon and CEO for the Institute for Advanced Breast Reconstruction. Hello, I'm Dr. Christy Funk, board certified breast cancer surgeon and medical director of the Pink Lotus Breast Center in Los Angeles. So prophylactic means that you're removing an organ before there's any cancer. So a prophylactic mastectomy would be removing perfectly healthy, normal breasts. The first and most common reason for which people do prophylactic mastectomy is that the other breast has cancer. Another reason for prophylactic mastectomy is a gene mutation. So removing that organ that's at risk ahead of the cancer occurring is a wise choice for some women. And when we're doing a mastectomy and reconstruction, in the setting of prevention, when there is not a cancer diagnosis, it actually allows me as the plastic surgeon to get really creative and really optimize the aesthetic outcome. I'll get a lot of patients from out of state or who have seen other surgeons and they'll say, well, I was told I'm not a nipple smearing candidate. If you don't feel good or you don't feel like the answer you got makes sense or you want something better, seek out that second opinion. If you are only hearing one thing, and particularly if it's not what you're, you were hoping in your heart to hear as a potential good operation for you, definitely seek that second opinion. We've had so many patients that, I, you know, that I'm even thinking of now, especially the younger ones, you know, one who um, she wanted deep flaps, but she still wanted to get pregnant. That's possible. She was told it was not possible. Dr. Google told her it's not a good idea. False. She had a great nipple smearing mastectomy with the hidden scars. She has beautiful deep flaps. She's thrilled with her contour and now she's gonna go have a baby. That is exactly what we do together as a team as we help women acknowledge that this is an unwelcome situation and it's dark and it's scary, but you've got hands to hold and we're on either side of you and hopefully there's a bigger support team around you as well. But we will emerge through this ultimately transformed and empowered and with a better outlook on life than we ever would have had.